the main cards that I use in this deck are Monastery Swift Spear and Seeker of the Way. The way the deck works is basically get one or the one or both of those cards out and start punching people in the face with uh, any type of spells to activate prowess. Also, I threw a couple monkey wrenches in there as well. On the black side, I have Mardu Strike Leaders, and anytime that card attacks, a 2 1 creature comes into the play token. Um, and he can feed Butcher of the Horde. I'm going to add in a couple Mardu Ascendancies and see how well that goes, because basically the, the main gist of this deck is punch you in the face as fast as possible and get you down to zero life. I know a lot of other decks are like that, but this is basically how I have to pilot this deck. And now, I'm going to show you my first deck tech, the Swift Seeker. If I can get the Battlefield Forges, the two Windscarred Crags would go, a Mountain and a Plain would go. That would be the replacement. But, if I'm not using Proxies, or if I'm at Friday Night Magic, this is the mana base that I'm using currently. We have two Windscarred Crags, and two Bloodfell Caves for mana fixing. We have two Caves of Colas for more mana fixing, but I do have a Wooded Foothills, a Bloodstained Mire, and a Windswept Heath. I'm also running four Mountains, three swamps, and four plains. Okay, so when it comes to the red cards, I do have my planeswalker being Sarkin, with like a one or two more. We have four wild slashes, three teamer battle rages, which are the newest edition, two magma jets, four monastery swift spears. Can we see where the direction of this deck is kind of going? Prowless, Haste. We also have four Butcher, three Butcher of the Hordes, three Crackling Dooms, it's probably some of the best removal, and one at the moment Mardu Ascendancy, one or two more are being added in. So that's the red and multicolor. Now we're going to go for the white and black cards. Four Mardu Strike Leaders. Uh, the promo from a. Uh, pre-release. Uh, yeah, four, do, four more do strike leaders. They kind of feed the butcher if I can get them out on their own, but they also cause a bit of a problem as well when I'm attacking and getting new creatures every turn with these things when I come out. All right, so on white, we have Soulfire Grandmaster. He's the newest addition to the deck, but the other champion we have here is Seeker of the Way, probably the best uncommon in the set of cons. Two Feats of Resistances, two Dragon Strikes, um, Defiant Strikes, and four God's Willing. Alright, so for the sideboard, we start with Chain to the Rocks. This is a pretty good removal. We have two End Hostilities, and that's in case, well, things go sour. Two Titan Strengths, which are probably going to get replaced, but... They're not bad. They used to be in the main board, but now I put them in the side. Three Despises. Also good creature removal. Along with two Bile Blights. Glare of Heresy, also known as the Anti-Siege Rhino card. For me, anyway. And Valorous Stance. So that's a sideboard. Basically... The Bile Blights are good against token decks, Anti-Siege Rhino, you know, this is a double. I can either give a creature indestructible or uh, destroy a target creature for or greater. That activates Prowess, no matter which way I go with it. The Despises, creature removal, end hostilities if things go bad end. You know, technically Chain of Rocks is good creature removal as well. And guys, that was Swift Seeker, my first deck tech for Dahmer MTG. And if you want to, you know, leave comments down below, uh, tell me what you would do to fix the deck or improve the deck, or tell me if I'm a terrible human being and I should stop making videos. Either way, I will get input, and I'm like Johnny Five, I need input. <laughs> and this is Dahmer MTG, and as I say on my main channel, Dahmer Cool Stuff, as always, do good gaming.